Gary Sheffield met with Big League Discipline Chief Bob Watson for 20 minutes Tuesday to go over what happened between player and fans at Fenway Park last Thursday. Well, still much to resolve. The police asking the local magistrate to file misdemeanor disorderly conduct charges against the fans. Sheffield could also file suit against the two men involved in the incident. And the Yankee outfielder must wait to see if he's going to be punished, though he says he'd be surprised if he was. Yes, I would be. I mean, I don't... I don't think I did anything wrong to, to grant anything. You know, my thing is that your natural reaction is to do more, and I did less. Now we just take it back out to the field. Yanks host the Devil Rays, dropped 19 on a Monday. This time, the big unit coming off a performance where he gave up three homers to the Red Sox in no decision. The slider is evil for Eduardo Perez. They don't know more. Three days rest, 300 second start of his career against Jason Giambi and Hideo don't know more. Whoa, hello. Get out. 1-0 Yankees. Giambi's third homer of the season. Well, let's move to the fourth. Nomo, Giambi again, and this time, Giambi, good view of that one, down and away. They called a strike. Five and two-thirds, one and run, six hits, two Ks for Nomo. Top seven, Johnson pitching to Perez, who homered off him in the fourth, and this one is going, 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 and it is just far enough off the top of the fence and gone. Johnson, five earned runs, he's taking the loss. It's one one Devil Rays finally win at Yankee Stadium. What about the Red Sox? Hosting the Blue Jays at Fenway. Manny, 43 home runs against the Jays. It's the most home run by any one player against Toronto. Bottom first, no score. There he goes again of Roy Halladay. Manny's fifth home run in his last four games. Remember, we were talking about how he hadn't hit one just a few days ago. This one, bananas. That's B-A-N-A-N-A-S. Clears the light tower. Solo shot, it's 1-0 Boston. Top nine now. <laughs> Tied at three. Keith Folk on the mound. Runners on first and second. Shea Hillenbrand with a base hit. Reed Johnson rounding third. He's going to try to score. Jay Payton says, uh uh uh. Johnson slides, but he doesn't touch the plate. And Jason Baracek makes him pay. Next batter, runner on first and third for Corey Koski, and he makes the Red Sox pay. Greg Zahn scores the first run, not by a home run. Koski four for five. Jays win it four three. Cubs red, second start of the season for Mark Pryor. But first, we're going to go with the Cubbies batting top first, Brandon Clawson. Corey Patterson, I believe we can put this exchange in Mr. Patterson's column. Home run, one nothing in favor of the Cubbies. Bottom first, Mark Pryor likes it, got the run to work with, facing Ken Griffey Jr., and that's a shot. But Patterson is on his horse, he's out there, he's got it, and Jr. is denied. Second longest home run streak to start a season for Griffey, 42 at bats, only 91, was worse. Later in the first, prior facing Joe Randa. And this one got just enough extra hump on it. Patterson going, 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 and giving it all up. Huh? How about that? You just can't get it out of the stadium. Not with Patterson out there. He'll track it down. You better hit it a long way. Prior facing Javier Valentin. Strikes him out. Prior again impressive. Seven innings, six Ks, four hits. Cubbies win it seven to one. Check out the Dodgers and the Beer Makers. Bottom four already, 3 nothing. Brewers to base is Chuck for Lyle over Bay, and he lines one to center. Milton Bradley's out there, but instead of just one coming home, how about starting the merry-go-round? Gary Glover, Brady Clark as well. And just like that, the crew is up 6 nothing. As you see, Bradley, a little trouble, and so off we go. More come in. Top seven, 6-3 Brewers, Jason Phillips. Almeida sign score on the Cesar Asturias base knock six five Brewers but Brewer pride they're gonna hang on win this thing not a problem so Mike Adams pitching to his tours again Ricky Lede now coming home to score Carlos Lee's throw not in time we're tied at six. Oh boy Milton Bradley now you saw the little problem he had there in the fourth thing gonna try and make up for it here four homers in his last four games as we go to the tenth Bradley well at least he didn't homer for both sides of the plate but the Brewers squander the six pack lead lose it eight six and ten innings bums 11 and 2 now. We're back. Mets in Philly to take on their division rivals. Vicente Padilla has owned the Mets. 9 and 1 lifetime, 2.24 ERA. Different story on Tuesday. Jose Reyes off Padilla. Second of the year for Reyes. Mets up 1 nothing. We've got to break out the Mets home run counter. That's one. That's two. Victor Diaz with a man on. His second. Mets up 3 to 1. The counter's up to two. But they're just getting started. Top third, Mike Piazza. 471 feet. Mets up 4-2, the counter up to three. Still third inning, Doug Minkiewicz getting his piece of the pile, Padilla. New York up 6-2, fourth Mets homer of the night. Same inning, Diaz back for seconds. Third of the season for Diaz. Mets up 8-2, 
Counter up to five. Padilla, eight runs, eight hits in three innings. Not a good night. Top four, Glavin Floyd in for the Phillies. Reyes, well, everybody else is being greedy. Why not him? His second of the game. New York up 9-4, and the counter is up to six. The Mets counter has never been higher than that. David right at the plate with the bases loaded, and why not set the new team record with a grand slam? Mets win at 16-4, seven home runs for them. Victor Zambrano even had a triple. Maybe George Steinbrenner challenged them, too. Mets set a team record with the seven home runs. Again, Reyes and Diaz each hit two right with his first career grand slam. Only twice before in team history had the Mets even hit six home runs in a game, each time doing it on the road. It's that easy to score. Go figure how the Braves and Astros on Monday went <laughs> one nothing in 12 innings. Bottom five, two outs. Houston up 3-1. John Thompson to Jeff Bagwell. Rip job. Greg Biggio pumping. Round and third, headed for home. He's a brown-eyed, handsome man. Go. Relay, he is in under the tag. Bag will take third on the throw. Astros leading it 4-1. So we go to the six. Runner on first for Cheaper Jones. And just like that, one swing, we got a one-run game off Brandon Backey. Marcus Giles going to score ahead of Jones, his fourth of the season, 4-3 game. Top of the eighth base is drunk. Atlanta trailing 5-3. The spring guy, Russ Spring, against Brian Jordan. Let's just go around the horn for the twin killing. That goes the Braves' threat. 5-3, back to 17. Three yard, eight strikeouts. Astro winners. Buck Show, Walters Rangers looking for the win after Monday night's loss to Oakland. Bottom third, Rangers with one out. Joe Blanton on the mound facing Sandy Alomar Jr. Nick Swisher. That's sweet. Diving catch for Swisher. Scoreless through three. Pedro Astacio got his World Series ring Tuesday for his one start with Boston last year. Looking for his first win since May of 2003. Gets Eric Chavez. Chavez one for three. Bottom seven. Rangers threatening. Bases loaded. One out. Alomar over to third. It's Chavez bobble the ball day. Throws the first. All runners safe. Dave DeLucci scores one nothing Rangers. Top eight. Time run at the plate for the A's. Astacio gets Jason Kendall. The fly out. Stasio, eight innings of work, six hits, one walk, four Ks. Rangers win it. Three zip. Mariners and Angels. Kevin Gregg on the bump for the Angels. Six and one career at home, but after two walks, the M's up things to a jog. Richie Sexton. Deep left, gone the home run thing. Three run shot is fourth of the season. Mariners lead it. 3 nothing. All right, cue up Digger Phelps. Here's Jamie Moyer facing Vlad Guerrero and Guerrero. Four. Oh, I love when the iceberg just starts hacking. Golf's one with them 460 CC drivers. Let's take a look at that swing again against that other fella. Yeah, there you go. You just got to get down, stand as you know, clear the hips, yeah. and get it through. Angels trail 5 3 at that point, and then Moyer. Sean Figgins goes down. Moyer improves to 3 0, 6 innings pitch, 5 hits, 3 earned runs, 5 3 your final. Bottom first, Paul Canerco facing Brad Radke. No score, man on third. Canerco into Jock Jones' area. And he makes the grab. That's the top play nominee. We may see him later in the show. Take another look at it right now. Robs Konerko of an RBI, and Konerko is like, what's, what's up with that? He didn't catch that. Bottom six, Konerko facing Racky, 2-2 two -two count, and says, hey, let's see somebody go get this one. White Sox up 3-1. to one. Seven home runs for Konerko already. Six shutout innings for El Duque in this one. Sox week two-game series. Win this one, 3-1. to one. Indians and Royals now. Top eight game tied at five. Jaime Serta facing Travis Hafner with the bases loaded. There's a pitch. And that's not going to hurt. Royals get out of a bases loaded jam. We move to the ninth now. Bottom nine, two outs. Brian McCray with a little foreshadowing. Are you saying that Alberto Castillo can't hit a home run and end the game? I've seen him do it before. Where? There's a drive. Deep to left. Get it! Go! Alberto Castillo, walk up home run! Former baseball tonight analyst Billy Sample with the call. Alberto Castillo gives the Royals the win. Let's go back to baseball with the Tigers and the Orioles. Brian Roberts, 13-game hit streak. We compare his last season to this season. A year ago, four homers. All year. This year, five already. Homer every 10 at-bats compared to home run every other 60 at-bats. Yeah. Well, we're going to lower it even more. Roberts facing Nate Robertson. It's gone his sixth of the season. So he's setting a career high with every swing. Now three-run shot. Hit streaks at 14. Then Rafael Palmero, a little of the blue diamond magic. His 552nd career home run. Unlike Roberts, he's used to hitting them all the time. Orioles win it 8-4. Giants Padres. Pods trying to make it a quick two-game sweep of the gents and move on. Bottom third, down one. Mark Loretta up and swing. Ray Durham coming, 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 coming. Got it. 
Well played by your second baseman. Take another look at the top play nominee in Loretta. Well, every once in a while, people still think he plays for the Brewers, steal hits from him. Bottom four, tie game, man on first, Jeff Blum. Right center, Ramon Hernandez. Ain't nobody getting that one. Come on and score, buddy. Go ahead, run. Blum, two for three, two RBIs, and the Padres again. Win it, 5-2. Is that Leah? 5-2 again, Padres. Three, Sean Estes to Michael Restovich. Well, you know, hitting at a high altitude is really just a blast. First of the year for Restovich. Rockies take a 3-1 lead. Then bottom eight, 5-1 base is Chuck for Matt Holiday. Looks like maybe he's duck-streeted one here. Doesn't get out, but it gaps. Clint Barnes, Luis Gonzalez, Todd Helton all score on the triple. Holiday finishes four for four, three RBIs. Everybody go to Joe's. Rockies win it by count, 8-1. After electing a new pope, the Cardinals went out, played baseball against the Pirates. Matt Morris pitching for the first time since shoulder surgery in November. Two strikes, two outs, two men on. Greg Wilson, that's three strikes, no men on, inning over. Top second, scoreless game. Josh Falk, who has lost seven straight to St. Louis, appears to be headed for loss number eight in a row. Second consecutive night, Jimmy Edmonds has stroked one out. His fifth of the year. Still in the second. Cards up four, Scotty Rowland. Foul ball into the stands. They got good fans there. Oh, nice catch. Wow. Well done. Over the rail. And barehanded. Yeah, golden glove work without the glove. Bottom six. Two outs. Morris. All right, right out. Now. Craig Wilson. Nice comeback from Morris. First win since September 3rd. Six innings. One earned run. Seven. Now, world. There's no time for a lead into Sports Center's top 10 plays. We just go right to it. Run it. And Speedway, Indiana, former Secretary of State Colin Powell behind the wheel, taking some practice laps at the Brickyard. He will be the pace car driver at the Indy 500, so there he is getting loose, turning about 200 miles an hour. Number nine, Cardinals and Pirates. Scott Rowland's had his share of top plays with his glove, but just a bit player of this one. It's all about that fan. Look at that catch he made. One-handed, barehanded, over the railing, and he got some love in Pittsburgh. Number eight, St. George, South Carolina. Now, those of us who grew up up north don't know the difference between a grit from cream of wheat, and but no matter, we don't jump on either of them. But here, this, these folks apparently head first into the grits, and, and they love it. It's Yeah, that'll come out, hopefully. Situation like that went terribly wrong for Al Green several years. Number seven, Mets and Phillies. You can see the Mets teeing off on the Phillies. They set a team record, seven home runs in the game. David Wright, his first career grand slam among them, and the Mets roll over the Phil 16-4. The grits not red hot, not, not boiling, luckily. No, that would have been a whole lot more movement if those grits had been as hot as the Al Green. Hubs and Reds, who can move like Corey Patterson? Crashes into the wall, robbing Joe Rand of the home run. Cubs win 7-1, another win for Mark Pryor. Number five, Giants and Padres, Ray Durham, if you'll pardon me here, is showing a little grit. No, you're not excused. I, I couldn't resist that. <laughs> Full extension. No, you've been banned. <laughs> Indians and Royals, Billy Sample. How about win number five for the Royals? There's a drive, deep to left. Chris, back to the track, and it is gone! And Bertha Castillo, walk off home run! And the Royals win it six to five. <laughs> they get to the playoffs, and man may just pass. Girdwood, Alaska. They're trying to jump over a puddle of slush to kick off springtime. 28th annual slush cup. The idea is to right. jump over the slush. They don't always practically execute the idea. No, they got a squirrel that can ski on water, sort of like that, only he's better. Number two, Bobcats Heat. Let's just watch Dwayne Wade. Let him wash over you. No Shaq, but you'll see him in the playoffs. Number one, Blue Jays and Red Sox. Remember last week, they were trying to figure out when's Manny going to hit a home run? Well, he's got five now, including this one, a moonshot over the light tower. And look at where it landed. On the Massachusetts Pike. It's somewhere in traffic right now. Sports Center.